Hi, my name is Ruth Cohen Kubitschek. I'm a psychotherapist and a yoga teacher. I've been doing psychotherapy for 40 years. Got my um, two masters um, from Washington University. And uh, we're here today because there is a crisis going on that's unprecedented, we've never gone through before. And we're all freaking out and don't know how to handle it. So from my clients, from experiences, trainings, I've learned and developed a seven-step process, uh, strategies to help cope um, with this pandemic. Uh, these seven steps can also be used on many problems, and they're called the seven steps to finding inner peace. Step three is feelings. Feeling your feelings. I've never seen so many people more stressed, anxious, scared, and fearful than ever. And it's understandable. It's scary times. So feeling our feelings instead of suppressing or acting them out or, well, we're all doing chocolate, <laughs> spending, um, overeating, uh, using drugs, alcohol. So step, five, step three is feeling your feelings. Um, if it's fear, anxiety, where in your body are you feeling it? Identify where. Is it in your shoulders? Is it in your jaw? Are you feeling it in your chest, your heart pounding? Is your stomach contracted? All the above. So tuning into your um, body, your feelings, allowing yourself to feel, what we tend to do is fight flight or freeze when there's trauma or a crisis or something we don't know how to deal with. We've never had to deal with this before. We have neural pathways in our brain that we just follow old habits like a needle stuck in a, in a record player. And we need a new neural pathway for this and we're going to be developing it. And the seven steps are one way to develop a healthy new neural pathway, the ability of the brain to change or thinking to change. Um, so step three is feel your feelings and sit with the discomfort as long as you can. So just a little story about hangers. Might seem odd to be talking about hangers when there's a pandemic. But those of you who do your own laundry know what I'm talking about. If you hang things up on hangers, you know what happens. You hang them up, you go for a hanger, you lift it off the rod, and it's attached to 10 others. So you just yank it and more than 20 are all entangled and then you get mad and you throw them on the ground. Instead of realizing now, every time I see a hanger, I go, ooh, zen moment. Look where it's attached, pick it up so it doesn't get unhooked. Or if you have a whole bunch, where's the main culprit? And you go like that. So hangers are a metaphor for what we have to do with this epidemic, pandemic. It's to get zen about hangers, about what's going on, about what you're dealing with. Get... Um, quiet, pause, witness the hangers, um, see, see what we need to do, monitor instead of yelling or screaming or acting out or overreacting, take a breath, pause, and just do one hanger at a time, one, just do the next right 